All right, peeps, good morning. Um, today we are talking about uh, a new unit. Uh, we just finished geometry, which was all the area of shapes, um, the triangle rules and all that stuff. Today we're talking about stuff that you're really gonna see a lot in real life. Um, mean, median, mode, and range, especially mean, a little bit of median. You're gonna see a lot of these two um, pretty much from now on. And honestly, mean you've seen a lot of times. Um, actually, the way we calculate grades in school is by using the mean or the average of those numbers. So y'all, my data set or my group of numbers right now are 10, 12, 18, 15, and 12. Five numbers. Um, we'll talk about some more examples with mean, median, mode, and range, but mean specifically tomorrow. Um, but today, all the examples are going to have probably an odd amount of numbers. So five, seven, three numbers, just to make it a little bit easier when we solve, solve some other stuff. Um, but tomorrow, it'll be a little bit different. So please make sure you watch the video tomorrow because... Uh, some of the math will be a little bit different, especially for finding the median. So, first thing we're doing is finding the mean. Like I said a little bit a second ago, the mean is also called the average. To find the average of a group of numbers, there's two steps. Step one for finding the mean or the average is to add all your numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and add all these up. 22, 22 plus 18 is 40. 40 plus 15 is 55. And 55 plus 12 is 67. Sorry, I was going to charge my computer up real quick, y'all. Plug it in here. All right, so when I added up my five numbers, I got the number 67, as you can see right here. 67 is not the average of those numbers. The average is actually going to be somewhere near the middle of all five of these numbers. So we add up our numbers, and then we divide. The number you divide by depends on how many numbers you have. In this problem, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, five numbers. So to find the average of these numbers, I take the number I get from adding and I divide it by five. 67 divided by five. I'm actually using this in a different color so you guys can see that better. Five goes into six one time. Five times one is five. Six minus five is one. Five goes into 17 three times. That's 15, seven minus five is two decimals and my zero so I can keep finishing my division. Five goes into 24 times. So the mean or the average of these five numbers or the very center of those five numbers is 13.4. I'll leave this up here for just a second, y'all. That's how you find the mean. I'm about to erase these steps and uh, all this math stuff so I can show you how to find the median. All right. The next one we're finding is the median, also called the middle number. So, y'all, finding the middle number is actually pretty easy, especially when you have an odd amount of numbers because there's going to be one number in the middle. Uh, I said tomorrow we'll talk about when you have an even amount of numbers and you have to do some extra math to find the middle. But right now, to find the middle, the first thing you need to do is put them in order. So I like to put my numbers in order from least to greatest. It just makes it easier for me to see them and count them or whatever I'm trying to do with them. So I see 10 is my smallest, then 12, but then I have 12 again, then 15, then 18. So the number that's in the middle, let's see, I have a low number, two high numbers. Only thing I have in the middle is 12. Since 12 is the number that I have in the middle, 12 is my median or my middle number. Y'all, the main thing you have to make sure you do on this is put them in order. 
if you don't put them in order, I would have got 18 as the middle. But looking at these numbers, obviously 18 is the highest number. It's not the middle. So y'all, the biggest thing about finding the median is put them in order first, then it's easy to find the middle. The next one we're gonna talk about is mode. I'm not gonna pause it for this one, y'all. I can show you this one right here. So mode, sorry. Mode actually sounds kinda like the word most. Mode, most. I know that's not exactly the same, but they both start with that mo sound, right? All you're looking for when you're finding the mode is the number you see the most. Here, 10, 12, 18, 15, 12. Oh, look, 12 is on there two times. Since 12 is there two times, 12 is there the most, so 12 is the mode. Um, tomorrow, we'll talk about something else with the modes. You can have multiple numbers for the mode. So if I had two 12s and two 15s, those would both be there more than the other numbers, so those would both be the mode. But if I had two 12s and seven 18s, 18 would be the mode at that point because I'd have more 18s than anything else. Like I said, we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Today, you will not have multiple modes. So it makes you just look for the one that is the most on there is your mode. And we're going to talk about range in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and erase this stuff. All right, y'all. The last thing we need to find out is the range. The range is actually the easiest one on here because you just have a subtraction problem. But you need to make sure you're using the right numbers. So it should be the highest number minus the lowest number. That'll tell you how far it is from the top to the bottom of your data set. My biggest number is easier to see when it's in order, y'all, but this is a small group of numbers. So I'm going to trust that you guys can figure out which one of these numbers is the biggest would be 18. The smallest number on here is 10. So to find the range, I'm doing 18 minus 10, which is 8. So here, my range is 8. Bottom line, peeps, if you guys are having any questions or any uh, struggles getting through this, um, please leave an email. Hopefully the internet will be back up by the time you guys get into this. Um, if not, please, once you watch the video, uh, go back through it, pause it. If there's any other questions you have, let me know. Have a good day, guys.